Hello again, welcome back. This is part 8 of Let's Play the Xenosaga series. And this is the third part where we are still in the Cathedral ship, although I think I am at the end. Um, before we move on, I'm going to do a couple of things. The first thing I'm going to do is take all of my Aether upgrade items... And I'm going to give all of them to Xion because I want Xion to learn an ability that will allow her to steal uh, to steal items from enemies, namely glosses. That's really all I'm concerned about. And there is an item coming up with this gloss that I think I want. So now that we've used all of those items, let's go and use Ether Points. And we're going to do a couple of things here. First thing we're going to do is we're going to evolve Goodbye. And we'll learn uh, this here to increase our boost by one. And then the next thing we'll do is we'll evolve this, which allows us to learn Queen's Kiss. And um, as you can see, it allows you to steal items. Not only does it allow you to steal items, but occasionally it will cause an instant KO. But I don't really care so much about that. Alright, so we have learned both of those. Next thing we're going to do is set both. And the final thing that we're going to do is... If I can get back to the right screen. That's not it. We're going to take medical, medical all, and we're going to transfer that skill to Cosmos, since we're using Chaos, who already has a, uh, a healing skill that can heal everyone. By transferring this to Cosmos, and then setting it on Cosmos, now all three of my characters have an ability that will heal the entire group, which I'm sure will come in handy. Now, as far as Kosnos goes... Can't evolve her at all in Chaos. I can't evolve his Aether points at all, or Aether skills at all. But now that we've done that, and we've set Xion's new skills, and we set Medica all on Kosnos, we are going to save the game again. And then head below. Let me just double check to make sure everyone is fully healed. And they are. Alright, let's go down and see if we have a boss awaiting us after some cutscenes. And I was wrong, we're not to the boss yet. No, nothing there. See what's over here. Veil. Okay, so do I want to take out these enemies or not? I guess I will. Your orders, Xion. And I am not going to waste time trying to get the extra skill points because 
Otherwise, I think this fight is just going to drag on and on and on. And right now, I'm really just interested with getting through with this area of the game. Man, do these battles take a while. I love the game dearly, but it is definitely flawed. Two more sets of enemies to take out, and then we'll really think this is a good idea? move on. And no unicorn this time, so nobody's getting resurrected. Poison is nasty. Good. Oh my god, enough with this poison shit. Okay, one group to go.
And it's really just me being kind of OCT, OCD that I need to kill every enemy on the screen. Because none of these characters are close enough to leveling that this is really going to do anything. Oh, this poison shit, my fucking god. With battles that take this long, I agree. Alright, so let's heal up. Let's use some ether packs and get everyone back to max EP. Looks like Chaos and Kosinos were already at max. And the only other thing I wanted to see is what does Hemlock do? I'm not exactly sure. HP equals 1. That sounds horrible, but I'm guessing that there's a, uh, a reason for that. Aquary Elevator, yes, we're gonna do the old save state. Let's head south. This looks like a very secure door that should be incredibly difficult to get past. Whew. Of course, all it takes is a button press. High level security. 
very high level. Okay, here we go. Shion, look at that. The Zohar. We must go. Hey, Cosmos, wait! Don't you go off on your own. Oh, I don't recall programming her that way. But what's the Zohar doing here? I have confirmed that this object can be identified with a 99.99998% probability to be the Zohar emulator that was stored on board the Woglinde. An emulator? Are you saying a real one exists somewhere else? Affirmative. Affirmative? Cosmos, how do you know all of this? I never stored any type of information like that in your main databank. You... You're the creator of that thing. And yet, you didn't even know about that? Commander Cherenkov! Are you alright? Let's get out of here. Commander! Your body's... Escape? What are you talking about? You think you'll survive through something like this? That's right. I... I was the one behind the disappearance of the planet Ariadne. All that mattered was the recovery of the emulator. That was the reason behind the deployment of Vector and the military. They were really only pawns. But in spite of all that... It is time to put Cherenkov out of Disable his misery. All all okay, the first thing I'm gonna try and do, and wow, that costs eight EPs. Hmm. First thing I'm gonna try and do is steal an item called the Commander's Crest from the Gargoyle. 
Hopefully it doesn't take too many tries. Excellent. First try. Alright, now all we gotta do is win. No, I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Aoudougog? Well, whatever it's called, we're gonna take those out first. If I can hit them. Lost is not good. Lost apparently prevents you from casting ether attacks. Now, I don't know if a cure-all is going to actually cure that particular status effect or not. Well, we'll give it a shot. Let's see if it works. Okay, that did work. Alright. So let's see how much damage we can do with Chaos here. Not much if he keeps missing. This isn't going well. Alright, well, this is why I'm glad I transferred medical medica all to Kosnos. That's gonna get old pretty quick if I have to deal with that every fucking uh, turn. Alright, what do I want to do with Xion here? Well, I'll tell you what. Let's hit this dude once. Hit this dude once. Yeah. We'll heal again with Cosmos. Fortunately, she heals for a pretty good deal. I didn't think it would be that high, but 280 is pretty nice. Okay, now hopefully we can take this guy out this turn with Chaos, and I think what's going to happen is he's not going to die because Chaos had done this twice, but once we do finally kill this dude, um, each of these minions, when they die, I believe it strengthens the boss, but I think it's easier to take out the boss without the minions, even if the boss is a little more powerful. I 
was gonna heal again with Coast Nulls, but I don't think I need to yet. So let's burn our AP here and see how much damage we can do to this dude. I knew that was going to happen. Alright, well... Thank you for missing. Okay, that's not good. I can't have all these unlike characters being unable to use uh, ether attacks. Alright, so let's clear Shion's first. See if we can take him out. Yes, we can. Good. Alright, now with chaos, let's heal. Unleash some of thy powers. Alright, his healing spell sucks compared to Shion and Kosnos, my god. Heals for about half of Shion and less than half of Kosnos. Alright, so now let's remove her lost effect. Just remember, Chaos had a, a, a cure-all spell, so I don't have to waste the items. Ouch. That's not really doing a whole lot of damage. All right. First, let's give Kosno some EP back. Alright, so you don't want to use physical attacks on that guy, that's for damn sure. Alright, so Kosnos will get to go with the critical, um... Damn, 308, holy crap! Alright, she gets to take a turn with the critical up icon showing, so hopefully this will do some decent damage. Let's not fool around here. Let's just heal her right up. Yeah. 
That didn't do much at all. Alright, let's see if Downforce will actually stick to this guy. Alright, it looks like it did. Doesn't seem like it did much, but I think it's stuck. Alright, um... Screw it, let's heal. Her damage output is pretty horrid. Alright, let's clear the status effects. Only to get them right back. Give Shion some EP. Get her back to full. Good effing lord. Man, that takes off a ridiculous amount. And I didn't want to freaking do that either. I really didn't. I wanted Chion to heal herself, but I managed to screw that up very nicely. Have Chaos give himself some EP back. All right. All right. And if you're wondering why, as you can see, Shion has two boosts, and so does Kosnol. So the reason why I'm not using it yet is I would like to kind of save it up a little bit. So when the boss is closer to death and then just go all out and use it all up and hopefully take him out. Chaos has the accuracy of a blind man apparently. Thank you. 
Master of Utah. And once again, let's clear everyone's status effect, even though I'm sure it will not last very long. Okay, this should max out Xion on the boost. She'll have three. And that's enough she can get, just three. He likes clicking on chaos right now. Alright, we're gonna use a boost here just because I don't want him to, to have a turn uh, and have a higher critical chance. Good heinous for a change. Alright, less than a thousand hit points to go. Oh, he missed again. Let's heal. And then once again we'll have Chaos clear the status effects. I think
think once I get him down to around a little under 600 hit points, then I'll go all, go all out, use all the boost, and then hopefully that'll finish him off. Let's see if we can do this. Finish this off. I should be fine. However, I am going to try to manipulate it so I can kill him with the uh, with the bonus points event, sl event slot showing. Can she do 85 damage? Beautiful. Beautiful. So everyone leveled up. And wow, we actually got quite a few T points, E points, and S points for winning that. That worked out well. 23 minutes that took. Holy cow. Look at that, 23 minutes exactly to the second. And we got a silver crown. I think I should have gotten a platinum crown for putting up with that for 23 minutes. Behold the light that spreads before your eyes. This light once symbolized civilization, the very will of the human race. But what can be gleaned from the light we see today? The people of this world have cast away their will to create, drowning themselves instead in an endless cycle of consumption. What you see now is the deceitful light cast by their stagnant eyes. The commander? But who's that with him? The people you've encountered in your lifetime are not people at all. They are less than human, mere sacks of flesh and bone. Only upon the realization of self-will can a person truly be called a man. You chose to reject the false light, refused to succumb to their lies. That's why you never faltered even after all the personality reconditioning. The commander underwent personality reconditioning? Long ago, man was forced to leave behind his homeland. This was brought about by the masses who extinguished the very light that drove their will. So how about it, Cherenkov? Let us rekindle the torch so that human consciousness may once again be resurrected for our sake and that of our God. Happiness? Were those my feelings just now? No, 
It must have been the Commander's feelings. Commander. What was it that you were searching for? I never really existed at all. I... 36 years ago, the year after the Zoar incident, which led up to the Milshin conflict, I was brought into this world as a weapon of warfare. It happened all the time back then. Killing was my... No, our whole reason for existence. The fortunate ones were those who could adapt to that way of life. Even luckier were those who died on the battlefield. But I was never granted that opportunity. Before I could find some significance to my own life, the war ended. And I was left behind while the world went on. I tried to adapt. But the language I spoke was so different from the rest of the world. I thought the entire world had rejected me. But the commander, it felt like he really needed me. I saw a future for myself in the commander. Or I wanted to, at least. But I had to rely on the drugs to communicate with the rest of the world. It was because I hadn't changed. After everything that happened, I hadn't changed at all. Now I finally understand. The world didn't reject me. I rejected the world. Xion. I like it here. I'm the only living thing that exists in this place. There's nothing else. No anger, no sadness, no happiness, not even a future. The only thing that's here is me. And that'll eventually fade away. It feels good. This is exactly what I've been searching for all this time. Xion. You'll eventually find yourself here, too. I'm sure of it. It won't be much longer. I know. I can tell. Dead? Xion. Chaos! What just happened? Where is he? He's dead. What have we done? Tell me. You killed him. Yes, you killed Cherenkov. Ziggy? It's nothing you need to worry about. I'm sorry. Was that really the commander? Yes. <laughs> tell me, Chaos. I'll tell you. Surely we didn't. You did. Xion. The truth isn't always a pleasant thing to know. To end up like him. 
We're still here, and none of us have turned into Gnosis. Perhaps we can take solace in that. Here, stand up. The connection between the Phenomenon boundaries is dissipating. If this continues, this spatial location will disappear. We are in danger. This isn't good. Elsa to the rescue. Are you ahead of them? Damn it. The Durandal's guns aren't slowing them down. What are we gonna do? Badass battle android to the rescue. Notice how her eyes shifted from red to blue. That means something. But what it means you won't find out until later. And not in this game. Output at three 
300%. Zohar emulator waves can no longer be suppressed. What the hell? Now they're acting up? Intruder alert in the Vieta mother frame. Permutational phenomena appearing in the variant. In Mama? Where's it coming from? Scanning transfection course. Course trapped. It's coming from the quarantine hangar. Quarantine hangar? It can't be the Zohars. It is. External sources are sending requests to the Zohars. Paradigm contamination is spreading. If this keeps up, the mother frame will be taken over. Cut off the main line to the quarantine hangar. Stabilize the attract inhibitor through a secondary line. Main line purged. All signals blocked. That wasn't so bad. Chief? Did... Did that really just happen? Yeah. It appeared as if she absorbed the Gnosis. How could she have weaponry we don't even know about? No. That wasn't a weapon. That was... Something impossible. Who cares if it's possible or not? You got rid of the Gnosis, right? Uh, Captain. Little Master's been buzzing us for a while. Huh? Oh, patch him in. Who's this Little Master? Uh, thanks for helping Hello. us out, Little Master. Sorry about all the This isn't the cosmos that I built. Kevin, is this your hand at work? Is this the real cosmos that you wish to create? Commander. What is it? Commander Cherenkov's SMS tracking signal has disappeared. And the UMN? Huh. I was able to track him while he traveled through hyperspace, but I lost him at point two one zero zero seven eight three. There are traces of a space-time anomaly at that same point, so we believe the Gnosis may have been there. I see. So, you got it? Roger, little master. Thanks for helping us out. You guys better fill me in on the situation later. Man. What the heck is going on here? And Mama's gone and caught a bug, so we can't perform any investigations or analyses for a while. That's terrible. Tell me about it. Hey, is that Little Master? He's our boss, the head honcho. Hey, Little Master! We picked up a couple of passengers headed for Milsha while we were working. What should we do with them? They look like they're in pretty deep with something. 
Well, your first concern should be to repair the Elsa. Why don't you get it fixed over at the Foundation? You won't make it very far in that kind of shape. Foundation? You mean the Kukai Foundation? From the Galactic Finance 500's top 10 fastest growing corporations list? Then you must be... Ah, oh, the business stuff was meant to be a side thing. We got lucky, that's all. This is bad, Chief. We can't associate with these people. Hey, hey. I heard that, man. Would you rather we left you here in space? Uh, no. Sorry, sir. Look, little master, what do you say we just leave this wuss behind? He spends all his time moaning and groaning. Hey, come on, Captain. Chaos, help me out here. Well, it's not really up to me, you know. I better leave this one to you two. Then I'm definitely giving him the boot. Come on! <laughs> hey, man, don't freak out. We're just playing. What's wrong? Something worrying you? Huh? Oh, no. It's nothing. I'm Shion Uzuki. Nice to... Um, meet you. Junior. Guinan Junior. I got a real name. But let's just leave it at that for now. Good to meet you. Shelly, change of plans. We're returning to the Foundation. Make sure to tell Guinan that we have secured the final emulator. Roger. Preparing to return to the Foundation. And this seems like the perfect time to quit. Well, it took three videos, but we got through the cathedral ship. The Durandal saved us. Well, Kosmo saved us, really. But we're on the Durandal, headed to the Kukai Foundation, and that's where we'll pick up in the next episode. So until then, take care. Goodbye.